guys, here I am again with another Atari ST game to take a peek at and this time we're going to have a look at a game called Targan, published by Silmarils in 1989 and I've never played this one before. But I do remember seeing ads for it and thinking, yeah, this looks great because there were some really lush screenshots in the ad. And okay, I admit it, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, I'm a graphics whore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't hate me for it, but yeah, that's just me. I love some nice graphics and especially back in the day I would get so excited after seeing the screenshots and then when I got to play the game It was of course shite, but yeah <laughs> That's uh, that's a different story and the artwork here is done by Peter Andrew Jones again. He's done a ton of artwork for many games back in the 80s and 90s. But there was also a French release and they made a different artwork and uh, it's definitely not made by Peter Andrew Jones. Let's just say that much. And it looks uh, interesting. <laughs> And there's even a third piece of art used for the budget re-release of the game, so probably there was a couple of publishers that did not want to pay Peter Andrew Jones for his work. Maybe they thought he was too expensive. I don't know. But never mind that, let's uh, check out the game. Ah yes, Silmarils. They always made beautifully looking games, but they weren't always that much great fun to play to be honest. They made a couple of good ones, absolutely, but there were also a couple of ones that were pretty much crap in the gameplay department. So uh, let's hope this is one of the good ones. And it's also got some absolutely beasty loading time, so I'm gonna try and edit that out for you. And we've got some tracker music going. A bit noisy, but sounds pretty good. And a pretty nice title screen, maybe a bit dark. I'm not sure why it's dark here. Yes, the music is getting a bit repetitive now. <laughs> Please, load the game. Game. <laughs> ah, here we go. I hope. Please. Thank you. And apparently we can save the game. We can press L to load a previously played game, so that's interesting. Or just press space bar to play, so let's do that. The music is getting a bit different now, that's good. <laughs> Keep cool. I shall try. I shall try and contain myself, Targan. And this game actually works with two disk drives in emulation. I've never ever gotten that to work in Steam. But yeah, I've got using both the A and the B drive because it's a two disk game. So that's nice. Oh god, this is taking forever. At least the music is getting a little bit different again, so that's, that's good. Ah, finally, I actually had to press the fast forward button there on the emulator because it was just taking ages, like three minutes or something. <laughs> but here we are inside Targan, and I know that sounded a bit wrong, but you know what I mean, you pervs. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is, I presume, a Conan the Barbarian ripoff. So this is Targan, the big, muscular chief of a tribe that sends him off to do a quest and find some stuff. Don't know what exactly because I couldn't be bothered really reading all of the manual. I did check the controls so we can pick stuff up, we can um, attack in the number of various ways here. We can even dodge. So that's nice. And anything else interesting here? I'm checking the manual as we play reverse sword thrust. Uh, that doesn't look like a trust, but okay, what do I know? I'm no expert at swords, so let's just carefully go this way and hopefully find something interesting. The game play is pretty fast, it's... Hmm, yeah, I'm liking this already, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Do I want to go down there? Uh, not sure. Oh, that was a nice move. Oh, well, that solved that. Oh, I could actually grab! The rope! Thank you, game. That was not mentioned in the manual, but that's nice. I don't think I saw too many uh, games back in the day that when you can actually, or where you could actually grab a rope as he was falling to your doom. That was nice. And of course we got the uh, Dungeon Master Barbarian. One thing going here, if I try and smash my face against the wall, he makes uh, a sound of pain. But I don't think it actually damages me. Oh, hi there. It's getting even darker. My god, this game is dark. What the heck is going on here? Oh well, Let's see if we can kill this fella. Oh yeah, it's pretty nice samples, this. 
Uh, why are you stabbing thin air? Is it because of me? God, this is gonna be tricky, I think. Come on, am I moving forward as I attack? No, I am not. That is... Oh, ow! Oh, come on! It's the usual shit. He just spams the shit out of me. Come on. Don't be afraid to meet your doom! <laughs> well, the combat isn't great, but it's not terrible either. Can get a little spammy, I think. And this guy is really not wanting to face me here. He really wants to leave. Can I... Let's see if I can do... Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh shit. No, that's the wrong way. I'm going to kick you in the face. <laughs> well, that was the end of you. Oh sweet Jesus. Uh, this, surely this place requires me to grab a torch or something because this is getting stupid. And yeah, I think I need to get a torch or something. Let's get out of here. All right, let's just get out of here before I fall down a black pit or something. Such a typical thing back in the 8-bit, 16-bit days. You know, those kind of adventure games. Oh, you have a dark cave, you need a torch. Okay, everyone used that, and I mean everyone. <laughs> let's just see if there's anything behind this skull. If I press diagonally right down here, I can pick up objects, but there's nothing there unless that thing there is something new. Let's go this way. I'm doing okay, and there's a squirrel. Let's hope it's not hostile. Hmm, doesn't seem to be the case, but here's something. I'm guessing these are throwing stars. Find the statue of the great warrior, Shala. Pray to your god, and may he be... May he will al and maybe he will al okay maybe he will allow you to rest in in your quest yeah this is so weird this English but anyway let's go go and grab that go away please sign go away I jeez okay then apparently I can't get rid of this thing but let's try and grab this instead pick up an object please oh yes throwing star that's nice. And we can't go any further that way. That's a shame. Maybe we can go and jump past that well, right? And see what goes on to the right. Yes, I missed the hole. Oh, shit! Mm, no, no, you don't, you filthy elf. <laughs> All right, that was kind of cool, actually. Can I pick up your remains? No, I can't. And there was no stuff either. Oh, God, I... Just lost about half of my hit points. Oh, go, no! You bat bust, go! Oh, God. My one problem with these kind of games back on the ST was often that the animations were too slow. What the, what the hell, what am I doing? Am I smacking my face on the floor? Not sure. Anyway, the animations were often so slow that you could never hit your enemies and they would always be faster than you and then they would spam the living daylights out of you. Now, oh, is that a fairy? Is it an angry fairy? I think it is an angry fairy. Take that, you evil thing. Um, or maybe it's a friendly fairy. I don't know. I can't seem to uh, hurt it too much. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Maybe it was friendly. I don't know, but I'm not taking any chances. Oh, that move is pretty nice. <laughs> My kicking and stabbing them in the eye. <laughs> My potential enemies. That's nice. Anyway, uh, take that. Uh, I've only got one shuriken. That is so annoying. I'm going to try and spam you in the crotch area by doing this. You have a puny axe, sir. You can't reach me. Oh, you can reach me. That's annoying. <laughs> Didn't look like he could reach me, but he could. No. Stop it. Come on. Oh, ow. Yeah, this is pretty tough. Uh, I'm probably going to die reasonably quick. Jump over the hole? No. And yeah, the controls are a little bit slow. It's 
rather annoying and I think I was just turned into a pile of bones on the cave floor. Okay. Oh, hello music. You're back. Your quest is failed and the servants of the evil one will be fed with your... carded body? Alright. Whatever. I don't care. Let's try this again and... Uh, oh god, we have to enjoy the... the loading again. See you in a bit. Actually, it loaded much faster this time, so that's nice. Let's go grab this thing. And yeah, hello, Mr. Squirrel. Nice seeing you. So this time we're not going to go down that hole and waste time and life. But we are going to try and maybe use save states to cheat just a tiny, tiny amount. So we can maybe see a little bit more of the game. Get up, get up, you silly woman. Could you attack, please, attack. Oh my god. She took a fair amount of my hit points. The wench. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a bat from hell. Let's not waste my shuriken. Let's see if we can maybe... Uh, get it? Come on, come on. Get over here. I know you hate me. Oh god, and that is another annoying thing when they get too close to you. Oh, could you stop doing a ballot act here? Dance moves is fucking... Mm. And of course I wasted my shuriken. Yeah, it's a bit clunky, the, the combat I have. What are you doing? <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of Barbarian from Psygnosis, but this is of course about a million times better but still suffers from the some of the similar problems. Just, just get away from this thing. Go away, you annoying git. Let's see if I can maybe just grab that. Thank you. Come again. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can not die this time. And my attacks are still rather slow. His are not. And I can't stagger him. I think I should do that because that's got far better reach. Come here. Are you just going to stand over there? Ah, oh, stop it. I can see this becoming rather frustrating rather quickly, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, no. And of course I did actually throw my shuriken there. I didn't really want to, but I did. Yeah, that's for the better, I guess. Let's see if we can not fall down the hole. Jump. That worked. Okay, what's this? Decoration. Don't know. For your loyalty and de do devotion. It's a V. Sorry, yeah, devotion. Sorry, it looks like a D. Your God allows you to save the game. Press, press on return. Sure, I'll press on return. Ah, uh, right. That did not work. And it's interesting that we get a gem window here. Oh, interesting indeed. Because I can't use the mouse pointer, so I can't press cancel. Ah. Uh, Sorry guys, I'll be right back. I don't know what possessed me to save the game, because I do have save states, so why, why, why would I save in-game? I don't know why, it was just a bad reflex. Is it a fox? Is it a devil? I don't know. Is it Superman? Probably not. Maybe it's Foxman. Uh, yeah, he turned into a pile of bones, that's great, and he does not drop anything of interest. Okay, back on track. I'm going to save again, because I, I did well this time. Let's try the jump. The jump of doom. It's a bit tricky to jump again because the controls are a bit sluggish. As I'm sure I mentioned, let's not touch that statue. Get away from it. Oh god. Take that. Bat from hell. Uh, I mean, there's a bit of significant slowdown when when there's an enemy on screen, which is kind of sad, because otherwise the game runs quite nicely. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe they wrote in... in, in what the... in GFA Basic or something? <laughs> Not sure what happened there, but that thing just... disappeared? Spontaneously combusted? No! They respawned! God damn it! But not that thing. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm cool with that. Let's see if that is up-pickable. Up I can't speak English anymore. 
uh, if I can pick that up. Not sure what that is, but we can press uh, F1 to F5, I believe, to select various items and use them. And I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a mine, but I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> Let's just go to the right and see. Ow, I just smacked my forehead onto a tree. Targan is not a smart person here. Slowly climb up. Oh, it's a bit like Super Mario Targan this because we have like secrets in the clouds. Um, wh what the? Why am I? No, I didn't want to do that. Why is he falling down? Damn you. Okay, let's go that way. Let's keep climbing. I'm sure there's hidden coins up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, please don't. And even those two sprites in the background, those flying things, slow down the game. I mean, it's not a huge slowdown, but it's definitely noticeable. So, yeah, I don't know why. Maybe they didn't quite... Oh, oh shit. You know what? I didn't believe you would come over this quickly. Allow me to uh, demonstrate what my sword does to your forehead. Ah, look at this lovely little cabin, and I do, ma do mean it's rather tiny. I bet they made it, uh, made these guys into dwarves so they could make smaller cabins, so Targon couldn't get inside. Because I don't think I can get inside, can I? I don't know, it doesn't seem to be the case. Nah, probably can't go inside. I'm too large. Let's go and beat up some more dwarves, shall we? Oh, there's a door that's open over there, and there's something going on in there. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, man. I didn't see the... Uh... Could you please let me get off? Oh, look how excited he is. No, no, bad dwarf. Leave me. Could you get off the rope, please? Get off the... <laughs> I can't move down, I can't move up, and I can't get off the rope for some peculiar reason. Do I need to be on... Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. He just closed his shutters. How rude. <laughs> yeah, the game looks really gorgeous, I have to admit. Ah, oh, would you stop doing that? <laughs> you useless... Oh my god, and of course I fall down and take a ton of damage because I'm not close enough to the rope. Please, attack this silly dwarf. Sometimes I miss if I'm too close, but they don't miss. That's a little bit annoying. Ah, yeah, alright, let's just keep going this way. Definitely a very good looking game, and gameplay is kind of okay, I think. Uh, but suffers a little bit from the usual problems with these kind of games, with the controls, sluggishness of the controls and slowdowns and, and what not. But yeah, not not terrible. Seems to be pretty damn large as well. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, my forehead is really taking a beating. Don't fall down! Oh. <laughs> did, did I die? No, I didn't. I thought I smacked myself to death. Oh, it's so annoying how he basically has to climb all the way. No. No. Um, what? Did I just die in midair? Oh, great. <laughs> I think we are done here. Not a bad game, but with some frustrations. Looks very nice and all that. But yeah, let's see what some other people thought of it back in the day. So let's have a look at a couple of reviews. And Ace Magazine's Katie Hamza wasn't terribly excited about the game and she gave the ST version 488 mystery points and uh, she writes, as does the Amiga version with practically identical graphics and sound, although the controls seem to respond that fraction more quickly. Yeah, it's a bit weird, sometimes the SD versions would be more responsive than the Amiga versions. That shouldn't be the case, but yeah, I don't know what's going on there. And she ends the review by writing, All this amounts to is a bland, mediocre and heavily watered down version of Sword of Sodom, made all the more tedious by the incredible disc access time. A game only for the incurable beat-up up addict. Yeah, they're certainly right about the disc access time. That was absolutely horrendous. I don't know why it should take such a long time to load the game, but yeah. 
And I think I would definitely have to play this game for a little bit longer to really uh, learn if this is any good or not. It seemed pretty promising with some minor problems, but yeah, I can see this getting a little bit tedious, maybe? <laughs> Considering the frustrating loading times and also, yeah, the kind of laggy controls. And I'm really sorry for the Amiga people out there that had to endure even more sluggish controls, and I'm not sure how that is even possible, really. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick peek at Targon, the Conan the Barbarian ripoff, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and all that, and I uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!